Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, Nigel Beyond Things. How you doing? How you keeping? I hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. Sorry, been extremely busy. You know, got things to do. And maybe you have as well. If you're not prepared, you're going to get caught out. There's many things going on. Look at the Middle East. They're just playing synth stage, making everybody look to the left-hand side while everything is going on behind you. We've got incoming planets, and one of those planets happens to be a big red planet. And if you've been following my channel for any given amount of time, you'll know this. Everything we're going to be looking at, I'll leave in the description box down below, so it's nice and simple for everybody to find. 7th of May 2018, Mount Blanca East. We can see over here we've got a light source, and we seem to be getting these double sunrises. Let me show you what I mean. And you can see a big red flash of light, and then we get our sun and sun simulator coming through the sky. Alamosa East, and we can see this big flash of light, and then we get our sun and sun simulator coming through the sky. Calanco East, and yet again, big red flash of light, and then we get our sun and sun simulator coming through the sky and you can clearly see that in the center is our sun simulator don't forget our sun is behind our sun simulator no sun no life not even going to discuss it so it appears from the clips we were just watching we were looking at two sunrises but of course that is not possible let's have a look at the camera from hp Ren. like i say links in the description box down below so it's nice and simple for everybody to find and uh, well, yeah, I'm just saying this is a very, very strange clip. We can see that it's very murky, misty, and we get a break in the cloud, and we get to see this object just here. Very, very red. Yet again, is this our sun rising? Like I say, it seems extremely, extremely red. I'll just leave my mouse there. Just there was this object that we were looking at just here. There's a mountain range just here. Now, how is that at all possible? Did we see another object just rise? Very red in the background on the horizon. Chemtrails, as you can see. I'm really not too sure what to make of this clip, but I find this quite strange. And we can see this strange lens flare effect. This looks like the lensing system in front of our sun simulator. And look how white and bright it looks. Extremely bright, just like a big LED torch. Don't forget what colour is our sun. Oh yes, yellow, orange. Definitely trying to hide something by chemtrailing. And this seems to expand and grow. You can see in the background how our sky just looks like a great big one-way mirror. We're going to be looking at airportview.net and I'll leave links to that in the description box. 18th of April, Laramie Mountains, Northwest. I know it's a bit of an old video. It's a very, very important video. Let me show you something. We can see straight away that we've got our red spinning projected image of a planet. Run through the lens system just over here. We can see the lens system because there's a grain around the outside. We've got our sun simulator coming through the sky. Sun's behind it, like I say. It's got a lens in front of it. And just watch here what suddenly pops out. Now that is a big red planet. You can argue that that is our sun. This is a projected image of a red planet. Is that this object here being projected through the lensing system? makes you wonder you can see how red our sun simulator is just around the outside that's our sun possibly behind it or possibly this object here i'm going for this object here bit of distortion on the camera and we've got our lens flare going through don't forget a lens flare is like a projection it's a projected image of a light source these are projected images of planets through the lens system And if we know anything about lens flares, as the light source goes one direction, the lens flare will go the opposite direction. Let's have a look at another camera. 
Durango West. And I think the first thing we can notice if we have a look in the background, we can see that our horizon seems to be flashing. And of course, that's a normal effect that we should see. And we will see the projection of this red planet just here being projected through the lensing system. It looks extremely, extremely red just over here. Our sun and sun simulator will come through the sky and yet again, we're going to get to see this red object appear. And to me, that has got no chance of being our sun. I'm just saying, that I find impossible. There seems to be a big red planet coming towards us. And I think you can agree, hey, you can see that this grain all disappears around this outside as we our sun simulator comes through the sky that big black dot that they try and tell us is a camera abnormality a seamless overload of course it's not i think you can definitely agree what we're looking at it seems to be a very very man-made object in this lens flare since it's meant to be a image a projected image of a light source that doesn't look anything like our sun well at any rate, it's all starting to make sense to me. We've got a number of planets coming towards us. A red one, a green one, a blue one, and a few others. You don't need to believe what I'm saying. You just need to look around. Look at the earthquakes. Look at the volcano activity. Look at the way the animals are behaving. You know, there's nothing wrong. Look at the weather. Of course, it's all coincidence. Our governments would have told us now. But hey, much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.